Hello there, YouTube. Toran Han here, and welcome to this replay. Uh, me and my brothers recently played. It is on the King of the Hill or uh, map. I am at the Yellow Mongols here. I spawn on a flank, and uh, as you can see, this would be like a like a semicircle or a crescent. Um, my uh, youngest brother here, he is a blue HRE. Is he HRE? Yes, he is back to HRE. Uh, then my uh, red French brother get in my belly, my middle brother, is right here. And this is our ally, number 7, 10, 18, 15, 27. And he is green English. And immediately he kind of, he already, he goes to the center where more of the sheep are. And why I wanted to cover this game is because it actually goes in a sort of a different direction and victory type than we usually uh, go for. Uh, so as you can see, most of the gold is in the middle. And most of the forest is on the sides. So uh, let's introduce the other side now. Uh, pink is... Uh, I, um, is pink Chinese? I, I don't know these letters are, fortunately. Uh, then purple is oil CC. He's purple Chinese, so uh, they're both on this side. And then orange is orange uh, French. And then teal is teal HRE. So uh, there's HRE French, and Chinese Chinese. And they will, and this is a single sacred site on the entire map, so it makes you, it, it forces you to fight towards the middle. <clears throat> Here, look how much more explored, how much more they did explore. This guy already has six sheep. Uh, purple has eight sheep. He's actually gonna get even more. I'm gonna, both me and my brother will actually lose more sheep. Uh, pink has seven sheep. And, uh, yeah, here, a blue actually was able to get uh, a good number of sheep. Uh, green was able to get good sheep, eight. Good job. And uh, where is my Han, actually? I don't know where he is. Ah, uh, there's my Han. Yeah, I was trying to attack this guy, but, like, he delivered all these seven sheep to this uh, uh, mill for, for deer. Deer uh, are gathered faster. I'm not sure how much faster they're gathered than sheep. Um, but I'm going to mostly show from my perspective. But also we're going to take a gander on what's happening on the other side, so to speak. Um, this place could be wallable. And actually, let's see how early the steel start to wall. The steel goes heavy on walling. Uh, to, uh, purple has, uh, is this purple or pink? Purple has, I think that's purple. Two more sheep here. Teal has seven sheep. He should have delivered here, I think. Um, orange has five more sheep. Orange didn't get as much sheep. Uh, he's more like me. The purple definitely, definitely went with two scouts, I think. Then I show up here, but then the scout starts meleeing me. And the scout starts chasing me for the whole time. And actually kills me around here or here, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I basically lose it. Oh, then this other scout, pink. So they, look how well they're working. I thought that was another... Yeah, that's definitely pink scout. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm trying to get away here. Wow, what's two still going eight sheep? Sheesh. But they look how well they've scouted there, scouted their part of the map. And we haven't really scouted ours as well. But they we did scout theirs better. But I wasn't aware of this outpost, and that's why I lose they gain four more sheep. Right by this sh sheep. So uh, but they didn't explore me, but I'm really close to um uh, to pink. Let's see how close uh, green is. Green is also pretty close to teal. Again, my belly. Uh, that's red. Red French. 
He went to a school of cavalry. He's hunting the the hunt here. I should have done that too, but I don't think I had a. Did I have a deer near me? Kind of here, but. Then, oh, see, four. He sent four. Immediately, he will level up with them, and that he puts houses. Even though infantry can get through, and even cavalry, I think. So houses don't immediately block off. But here, pink is really on top of things to uh, deny. So this guy starts walling off. He starts building an outpost, and while orange is just trying to wall off and premier create a defensive sort of barrier uh, pink is building a barracks purple he built his barbrick in the sun defensively not offensively he's building an outpost there um and here will they finish i think the scout actually kills all those four of these villagers I, and the purple scouts too so he will have to poor green has to has to move oh, oh never mind he's he had them in the in the tower here i i do use my han where is he where's my han oh, there's, oh there's and he got a spear one so blue was able to, losing villagers trying to get to 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 the spot but green was able to, yeah, four, so he didn't lose the villagers, smart. This outpost saved him. I think that is Pink's uh, Imperial official. Here they see that I, uh, Pink was so close to my base. I still have mostly scouts. Green scout is firing of destroying this wall here I am kind of annoying the spearman interesting dude does he see my base no he does not uh, I do like watching from the other side to see their perspective okay but at the same time what was happening here uh, blue is like okay I can't build here so he starts building his barracks up here uh, that's my youngest brother. He has his, uh, uh, what's this called? Uh, Akin Castle? No? What? That's, uh, Akin Chapel, yes. And, uh, here he's gonna, he's using all these eight people to mine stone. That's like a lot of stone. Then red is about to attack. Blue is building his forward barracks on my side, kind of close to me. Here I am was just on one pasture, four on gold, rest ten on wood. I'm a silver tree. I should have moved that silver tree earlier, but uh, then I have finally going up with barracks. We're trying. We're gonna try to attack. Oh, this is the uh, uh, reds attack, but he has outpost here. But this tower, yeah. This tower was smart placement for him because he just can hide and it's pretty good damage. Because now one of them is pretty low, 34 out of 190. But as you can see, Pink put a very offensively minded Barbican of the Sun. And this is kind of their bulwark around. That's what they see. They see that walls are coming up and he's going to put uh his uh but what's interesting you can't put your archers on the wall if it doesn't have a tower or a gate so basically you need an in in like an in like a structural uh, otherwise the uh let me see uh yeah so he right now like you can't put your guy here there's no there's no way to enter the structure so i think you'll have to put a a tower or something similar Meanwhile, here a uh, red is got his uh, pink's people off wood. He's still gaining wood, or actually, I think he stopped gaining wood. But this is where his sort of lumber operations are. Here, blue is building. He built this wall here, 
So, but yeah, this is a way wider to to wall off. But I'm right here. I'm finally I finally have eight hardened spearmen to just help with this because they're about to attack. They have a battering. This is our usual push that you guys are should be familiar with. See, he he's building a gate, and then once he has a gate, he can get on the on the wall. Basically, see, there's the there's this little now they can get up, but not without that gate. He, and he is even building a wall placement here. Meanwhile, here uh, he's he's attacking the villagers here who are going Imperial Academy. So he's going to Castle Age, and here I'm supporting and destroying that. What is their response? Purple is he mostly has just horsemen and scouts here. He's building up wall, but he needs to help Pink because we're right now his uh, spearmen are chasing. But the spearmen are not helping in, in, in the defense. Oh, actually, they are a bit, but against men at arms, they're doing pretty well. And then here is my force, and we're I'm using my spearmen to kill his spearmen, and so then to keep the to keep it alive. Teal here is starting his own with spearmen and men at arms, his own rush. I didn't see this. Or green, orange is being attacked. And now green, uh, green is being attacked by orange. Orange is five royal knights. So T Teal is starting up his wall here. And overall, he'll 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 build be he'll be building that wall a lot. Here, uh, he's using stone wall towers to kind of hurt. But stone wall towers are not that good against uh, only like what ten damage per second. Well, not per second, for five seconds. Yeah, ten. So it'll take them a while. Here, there's two uh, rams now. And pink went heavy on Zhuganus, and that's actually it's correct because against Spearman army, Zhuganus does well against Spearman. What I should have done against Zhuganus is went archers of my own, and that actually will hurt me l later. Uh, and uh, and I'll explain why. Seven uh, seven villages from purple uh, gathering stone, uh, uh, gold. Uh, Pink is gathering gold, not in here because it's been denied, but in the middle. Um, here he's not getting any food from these sheep. Uh, he was still attacking, but he's using all his villagers. He has seven wood. He doesn't have enough to repair anymore. I'm building a tower here. I'm not sure if this does come up or not. Uh, well, meanwhile, Green was able to s survive with a tower here and very defensive placement. I think Green later actually even walls himself. Uh, here. Yeah, Green uh, he is on the. He has 513 Longbowman on the stat. He has two builders. The sixth just should be the eight that he started with. Here, uh, Purple finally goes with his uh, horseman. I have a few uh, new spearmen, and these are my. Uh, and then I, I just start to try to uh, have just pressure on on pink because pink only has. If we destroy th these two tr uh, landmarks, his only last landmark is this one, unless he ages up. And this is what we should have done a bit more pressure because we could have taken pink completely out. Uh, but. By the time we go there, Pink will have more stuff going on. And here the, comes the raid from the rough orange, oranges Royal Knights against so French kind of versus French. And what's happening here? He has some three knights here. Here we come uh, come in. I have a ram. He is trying to get madly uh, uh, more. But what I'm doing is I'm inching to his wood line. I'm trying to deny him wood line. And then, well, meanwhile here, he kills a, a, a bunch of villagers. Yes. And where when is Teal attacking? Or did Teal already attack? Maybe I missed that. Maybe I missed that attack by Teal. Oh, no, no, it's coming. This is a Teal attack. So it's kind of two, almost together. 
And this is what uh, uh, forces Red to deal with this. He's using his villages well, but they will be able to get the second town center. This is not his starting town center, which is this, your starting town center is Landmark. Here, how close were we to taking out Pink? Well, he still has Barbican. Um, and again, the placement, having your at least one of your Landmarks in a far away pull spot ensures your sort of survival. At least if you if you have at least some here. Oh, see, that's why they were really against this. They didn't want this tower up. And then all these are the are there. They're mostly pink purples, actually. These are purple the uh, 18 Zhuganu. Because I'm like, how do they have so much Zhuganu? So actually, pink did have only five. Like, he didn't. Have, he doesn't have the economy for 18. So this outpost does not come up, but it's keeping these guys out for a bit. Uh, Pink is still just on two monuments. If we had this monument down, then only this would be left. So yeah, Pink with our all our tax is very hampered. Meanwhile, uh, here he has two. I wonder how Red beats this. I should have helped here. But uh, he's going now with two and more, f eight hardened spearmen, two men at arms, which red is kind of, I don't know how he deals with this, just with his knights? Yeah, they're definitely going to get that down. Um, th th this is when I'm like, okay, our push into pink is kind of done because we can't deal with this, like, this many veteran royal knights. What do I have at this point? I, ha I don't have enough spearmen. Well, I do have spearmen, but the problem is... This 18 Zhuganus and this... Wait, so he was able to get five more? Yeah, there's just so many Zhuganus that they'll just tear through my through my Spearman. And that's why I do not engage. And that's why what I do to compensate... Not yet. But I will build stables and start making horsemen. Uh, but horsemen against the Royal Knights is not that good. So then I pull off here. I'm like, okay, they, they're winning. But what these stars are did... He's not getting his zero. He, he's not getting any wood. Because there's not much wood in the middle. Yes, some. But most of the wood is on the sides. And where's Pink here? He's still... He's getting some food here. Oh, he's starting. Okay, he's starting. So he just moved back. Uh, he has his nine lumberjacks here. But that pushed him out further. Okay, and here... Blue is attacking here, so we're like, okay, if, we're, if they're denying protecting this, these two landmarks, at least we can get one landmark down. And here, uh, Red is just fighting mostly Spearman with cavalry. That was pretty... Yeah, Red was doing not so well at this point. My uh, my poor brother here, we could have should have helped him a bit more. But yeah, Blue did help, but kind of a bit almost late. Uh, green has farms here. I did not notice that. Blue has a lot of farms, but blue is about to be attacked here. Here, I forgot about the silver tree for ages. But what's interesting here is that this huge 28 Juganu army is being wasted, I think, on attacking these forward positions and not attacking me. That What I was afraid is, like, I'm next. That's when I just start... Switching to horsemen and later uh, lancers. I, I do have some support here because at this point I'm, I'm worried where are the that big force of royal knights, uh, oranges royal knights. Oh, there they are. So there's nine here, and just with two, will they, they're able to get the barbican. There's so blue did very well. So this, so that's why the purple destroyed it because. Uh, it's like it's like a back door to attack them from here. They captured this. Teal is blocking off here. Teal's walled off here. Walled off here. So we be, we did see teal here against red, but red was able to stave it off. But and what's interesting, look at teal. He has a mo two landmarks so close. That is not smart. We should have maybe even hit teal, not keep hitting f f pink. So he didn't repair this. He repaired his original town center. He has some defenses here. Purple with orange. And that's why I was scared at this point. I'm like, I'm next. Like, like this is, I'm close. Like, 
I did put it in defensive plot. I do have some towers. But I'm getting these horsemen because I want to push. I, I, because I have a lot of uh, well, pr pretty good uh, uh, wood income because my wood is here and it never got attacked. Uh, I should have even put uh, put wood a bit farther. But, uh, but here I am now attacking pink. And I'm trying to deny our oh, purples be putting this keep up. But basically I'm like, no, 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 this keep is not coming up. Putting up the pressure, and and blue, my blue brother, uh, uh, Uncle Dan, he destroyed this landmark. But the, these uh, Stonewall towers are really good against Batarians because they're basically like, they're basically like Springles. There's a uh, more defenses coming up here. Meanwhile, here, where's Orange? Orange still has forces here, but uh, but basically, I know the Juganus are archers. They do nothing against these are uh, battering rams. But so I uh, listened to my ally, uh, to my brother's advice. I put most of my uh, spearmen inside, so then they're safe from Juganus and they can attack these guys later. So then again, not letting him breathe. But I should have scouted this. So again, scouting is key, and just attacked with scouts at least, just to deny uh, Spink building up with wood. So here I force them back inside these five four villagers, and and this is where I was almost ready. I should have I should have attacked. Like I had this many horsemen, ten should have dealt with these five easy, but I waited a bit too long until Orange is pulling this huge 22 force. But again, the my whole point here is to try to force a uh, attention here because if they were attacking here. That'd be worse, and and then 26 26 Juggernauts here, they're kind of doing the same thing. But what's good, Green has uh, a siege now, and if you look at Green, he actually even walled himself here. Uh, I don't know, uh, he couldn't move that, but he should have just walled around here. So he just has safe wood. That's very smart. If anything, if I were him, I would do the same thing for me <laughs> and for others. But uh, uh, that's uh, what HRE and Red should have done as well. Wall, wall themselves off. And here, this huge force of 22 Royal Knights, veteran Royal Knights, for some reason, they could easily own this. Like, they would hurt, get hurt, but uh, that's why I couldn't push into them because of this force. And what happened to this force, interestingly enough, oh, Green is getting the sacred side here, or at least on it. I'm just like following where this army is going. What we should have done is walled off here, and uh, and then this attack wouldn't come because this attack is gonna go hard against my uh, uh, blue HRE brother. Uh, yeah, so here he's just trying to do some cheeky uh, attacks. Um, yellow, and that, and I just stop chasing. I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, I should have stepped chasing with my horsemen, but horsemen don't are not that good against. Then, oh, then Teal is attacking here with two Manganels. That is very dangerous for this 428 veteran longbowman. And purple, so it's two versus two here. Purple versus uh, Juganus are not that good against uh, these guys because they're. But what purple is using is he's using the, the orange is attacking. Uh, he was able to get us and most of his people, but not all of his people. While this uh, is, while well, this happening, but, but was it Blue was able to attack with his men at arms? MAA? Oh no! But now Teal had more MAA, and they just he wasn't able to destroy the siege, so he loses his council hall. This is big, and that's where he was. Green was bringing us. Is like what's happening? Uh, there is a fort there, but there's. He's, he's going to mine this out and put another fortress. Here. Oh, this. Oh, look. Down to 10 and over 28. Here, he, Orange is uh, destroying uh, a lot of the wood woodcutters. Oh, actually, woodcutters were able mostly to get away. Uh, but there's this Chad Prelate. He'll do something crazy. My brother loves doing that. I should do that more often as well what am i doing here 
here I am massing again just to keep pressure on on oh that's what I, I attacked I threw this horseman kind of away uh, just to keep a pressure uh, here he was able to get the fortress up in time Lo uh, orange is attacking again or orange is throwing one of the blue landmark red is kind of safe for now but Ro orange is gonna he built rebuilt his second town center I finally put my this thing down but uh, I think teal has a force here no not yet teal is making a force um, but here orange sends his knights in oh because green was, was trying to get the sacred site here orange is attacking the town center uh, poor blue uh, blue lumberjacks are running away oh that's what I'm like what, what are these lumberjacks what are these people doing but look at this chat orange was busy elsewhere but look oh my goodness just two left Blue gets all these 18 Royal Knights! V veteran Royal Knights! So yeah, he loses stuff here in the middle doesn't look good, but this is a huge, huge uh, convert. Because these Knights would be helpful for, for towards the middle. And they stop the attack and he has a uh, relic. And he's just <laughs> rebuilding now. So really, that attack was not much. He didn't. He didn't lose. Oh, he's insufficient wood. That's when I start flinging him wood because I have this set up. And and I what I wanted. I wanted this to trade with market. And I kept telling my red and green, where are your markets? Like, it's critical. Like I'm I'm basically playing at half strength or less than half strength. Here with my four rams again. I, I start to push out with my four villagers, always making more more outposts here so i wasn't really helping the middle but he built berkshire palace there's a keep he's building rebuilding the council hall he has a red that's red's uh stables um and then i can see that okay the rams going rams is no longer gonna work uh and my lumber uh, my gold miners are just here Oh, there's a stupid wolf attacking. Okay, was he able to survive this villager? Eight, five. Oh my goodness, two. The villager survived. Okay, I'm kind of now invested in the life of the villager. Um, here, Green's finally able to get a monk in and take over the sacred site. But the thing is, it's still open. The the he was a trebuchet. He was able to destroy the purple's wall. At which point did the purple start walling? Uh, starts walling now because what what happened? Why why they oh red found gold. Good job, red. Somebody found scouted where pink's uh, lumberjacks were, but the problem is pink built his third uh, wonder landmark in here, so very protected. Like like. Beyond blue, we'll have to get through orange. And what what's teal up to? I remember teal did send a fourth force. Here, pink starts to wall, but it's kind of weirdly here he doesn't connect. Oh, because of this thing, he's trying to mine it out to connect. Then they see we started the sacred side victory, and we well, yeah we own it, and as soon as you own it, it starts sticking. And I believe it's a uh, uh, 10 minutes? Well, Wonder is 15 minutes. I don't think Wonder should be take 20 or even 30 minutes. It's just, it's, it's a little, it's much more defensible. Because landmarks are usually placed in the place where you, it's harder to defend, farther from your base, everything, from your production. Uh, even though it's smart to start production, how Teal is doing, right at the base, so then they're, uh, they're right there. Like, watch how close they are, they're like, right by there. Oh, that's another force. 20 Royal Knights gonna attack. He just made knights. He didn't ever... Orange never went... Never went... Uh, uh, Arbilatrice or something. And Purple here just walling himself off from anything. At this point, why I kept attacking Pink? Because with two Chinese, there's much more likelihood that one of them at least will go... Will go... Um, 
uh, I, I, here I start, uh, yeah, I have two traps, one of them go Fire Lancers, and that's my big fear, because they'll just, Fire Lancers will just destroy everything here. I have 18 Spearmen, but they're more for a building. I have four Manganels, so I feel pretty good at this engagement, but what I should have done, Juganus. I, I mean, Archers versus Juganus. But Archers... I, I, I could fight this, but here, here something weird happens. My knights don't really fight. It's kind of weird. Like they're just running around. Like they're not fighting. Like I need to master how to do a attack. He does have some spearmen. See, they're not doing. They're not attacking at this point. Like what the heck? They're just taking damage. But my. So this guy is not doing smart. But uh. Oh, this this small attack. Yeah. So he again is hurt. And he is lumberjacks. I'm not, not kidding. Here in the middle is fine. Orange. Where is Orange's army? Oh, they're, yeah. They're attacking red again. And at this point, they're about to destroy him, I think. And that's why he red starts building a, a landmark down here somewhere. Just to survive. Uh, here, I just keep attacking. I lose my knights, and I, again, something happened with my targeting where I didn't use them well enough. Now, pink has a fortress here, but I have trebs, and my trebs are protected. Orange is attacking. Oh my goodness, so many villagers killed. Uh, but teal, teal, uh, teal starts attacking my trade. He does. He he doesn't uh, because of the outposts. He just walks past. I don't know why he doesn't attack Regnus Cathedral, but these guys just keep killing my traders until I figure out way later. But oh, okay. See, I, yeah. So my Manganels countered him. He's building barracks here. He's getting his wood again with his eleven villagers. But the problem is, Red, red is has no counter to this many royal knights. He should have had cr uh, spearmen with our abilities, but basically, yeah, he is a school of cavalry, his guild hall, all these who are under would be under attack. And here they're being, oh, they're using the Berkshire Palace to attack these things, to attack Teal, because Teal has cannons now in siege here. Oh, he is attacking with some cavalry. Yeah, so that's going on. Meanwhile, here I'm pushing in. And purple... Uh, uh, what you'll see uh, purple doing... Well, purple's economy is just booming. Yes, granary here, granary here. Oh, he's building a new town center here. That's, that's pink. He's trying to survive behind the walls of purple. And oh, and purple is getting grenadiers, light range gunpowder infantry. So they're very good against anything armored. And I mostly have cavalry. I could have had men at arms against uh, men at arms. Actually, would have been better against Juganu, but not against grenadier. What I should have had against grenadier, but I didn't know that he was going grenadiers. I should have had archers versus grenadiers and horsemen. That combo would have dealt with the grenadiers. I'll, but my current combo, uh, spearmen. And Cat Lancers, he's hard countering that. So that. We have a Sacred Side here. They are moving out here. There's another force of 18, or there's maybe the same one. Uh, blue Scent Spearman. But see, these guys just... just the, he sees that, but he doesn't destroy it for some reason. He just leaves them there. He, because he's now focused on the siege. He has two trebs. And he's trying to... Oh, Red Palace being almost destroyed. And if this Red Palace goes down, Red is basically out of the game, I think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, no, he still has his uh, School of Cavalry. But his main... Uh, har oh, he's not completely out. Wait, where's Orange's uh, force? Oh, they're being chased by the, by, the, by, the blue, by the blue. So these chasers are pretty good just to keep them out. Here, green. We're trying to keep this red palace alive. Oh, he uses the blue, uh, the converted veteran royal knights to destroy the trebs. And that allows red to survive down here. Meanwhile, here, I am just demolishing pink. 
But my reckoning will come soon enough, unfortunately. Look, look, look. So he spread his army of 49 Grenadiers. And this army of 49 Grenadiers owns... All, all, like, look how fast they, these guys melt. Armor. And my spearmen also melt. Uh, even though I have four Manganels here. But Grenadiers... But, uh, but, uh, gr um, Grenadiers in, in the scattered formation are good against Manganels. So basically the... But see how good they're against light too? So I don't know how well would light cavalry, horsemen and archers do. It's just almost like if you have a large number of grenadiers, it's GG, it's game over. Like, like I'm doing something and I'm, he's chasing. I make him chase my trebs just to... Uh, just so then he's he's out of here. But basically, pink is destroyed. He'll, he, he is now... Push back behind purple's lines. He does have this counter back, but we have a way defensive position here. Red is able to get his uh, red palace up, and he's upgrading it, fixing it up. But the problem is, orange has a 31 knights here, and what if these 31 knights were here, attacking the middle, helping steal siege? We would have been in trouble. Now again, this kind of shows how playing objective is objectively better than that. And uh, what I think Orange was trying to do is he was trying to destroy all the landmarks that he can destroy on the periphery. He should have been known that the Red Palace is here. But he just spent all his time with most of his bulk of his forces down here just attacking the other French player. And he has another 16 c or coming down the pipe. Pink built Imperial Palace down here. So Pink is just trying to survive as madly as possible. But, um, oh, I still, <laughs> I did not know this. I still have a surviving Springle just firing away. Um, I had a few towers, a tower inside. Kind of reminds me of Co uh, Conan, uh, Age of Conan, uh, the Hyrcanian <laughs> uh, tribe that went past the Great Wall of China. Um... Just pull of well, Kitai there. Kitai? No, I think this is what's called. Yeah, Kitans, Kitai. Uh, because in Russian, the word for Chinese is, is Kitai. Okay, then Teal is attacking heavily here. But Green was smartly, he did. Defending the small area with small chokes where there's kind of lanes. Rebaldigans are really good at uh, close range, hit multiple targets, single volley. So a lot of these Orange Knights are not doing that well. And uh, they have these uh, uh, Manganels, but Manganels, he's using the last of his converted veteran royal knights to destroy these Manganels. But look, 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 this is another crutch. He goes, all of these, he converts, he converts 26 Grenadiers. Purple has only 15 Grenadiers, he has less Grenadiers than blue, and we win. So he tried to all go all in just to uh, turn the sacred side, but with so many castles then in the way, and the conversion happening in Crutch, and the Rebaldicans, and my knights coming in, my lancers. So basically, I knew that uh, red is falling, and I, but we still need knights or cavalry in our comp. So that's why I, I later in game I went heavy knights, and that's how we won. We didn't. We technically lost uh, by the overview. Uh, we technically did lose by uh, all our bases were open for oranges attacks and purple attacks. Like if orange and purple combined forces, all thirty knights and twenty um, not engineers, uh, engineers, they would roll over our bases. But that didn't matter because we won by objective. Like they had to fight the sacred site or they lose. And they tried, but they, 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 I think the major mi uh, misstep wasn't teal or purple. They played the best. Uh, it was uh, it was orange. Orange committed too hard to killing red when he should have committed to uh, regaining control of the center. If they and that thirty knights would have helped, would probably turn the tide in the middle uh, because I wasn't really involved there. Like me and P and Pink. We're almost not involved in the middle. But me focusing so hard on pink, basically, 
ensured that it was a 3v3 situation at least uh, until the very end game where yeah so, bas so basically that was what I wanted to cover very fun game uh, a very tough game I think we were losing at some points uh, we didn't do the right counters My I need to learn more about how to move an attack with my cavalry because they definitely were not attacking they were just like standing there for uh, for a bit uh, uh, t t taking the hits. Another thing I should have done, my Lancers were still le Lancers, not better Lancers. I need to be better at upgrading faster. Uh, getting a second town center, I did not do that. I had a lot of wood. Anyways, over and out. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.